Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, here today we're going to be installing a new radiator and take out that Mishimoto radiator shroud that's been causing my car to be a lot hotter than normal. Um, I just wanted to talk about it and also show you what you need to do to get the radiator uninstalled. All right, so you can kind of see down in there, we've got this Mishimoto radiator shroud, which has this metal piece that goes all the way around, so only air can go out of where the fans are. But the fans aren't pulling enough hot air out compared to the stock fans. And I talked to Smedia about this on his channel, and he said go back to the stock fans. And on top of that, I'm going to take the coil rad out, and there's a new... CSF radiator that is specific to racing so I'm going to go ahead and install that now to get the radiator out we got to take off all these bolts and clips along the top get this shroud off of here and then there's some bolts up in front of the radiator those will come out that'll release the fans um, I could probably just take the fans out since I'm replacing the entire shroud and putting the stock fans back on. And then down at the bottom, that hose down there, the silicone hose, I have a Mishimoto radiator hose that's made out of silicone. We're going to pop that off. We're going to drain the radiator. And then once we get that done, we can pull this hose off and then the entire radiator will come out once this final hose is taken off here along with the one right there so that's pretty much it it's not that hard um, once you get that done you do have to go ahead and bleed the coolant system and to do that we'll show you how to do that at the end of the video basically you use a funnel and you put it on top of this reservoir fill it like a third way up with coolant and then run the car until it gets up to operating temperature the fans kick on and then you don't see any more bubbles then you shut your car off and you let the coolant get sucked back up into the system once it's done you take the funnel off put the cap back on and you should be good to go just go ahead and monitor your coolant temps after that and you should be good but anyway let's get into it Guys, so always make sure you're doing things safely. I put two jack stands. The second one is just in case the first one was to fail. That's probably not going to happen. And I've got another jack stand over here with the jack just touching in case it were to fall. Let me slide this forward. All right. So we are ready to drain the coolant and. Uh, Got all these bolts off on top, disconnected this little hose connector thing right here that's going to have to come off. I got to take this off, 
got to take these off and this hose and this hose and the radiator will be able to come straight out um, can't do that until I drain the fluid though so let's get up underneath we'll show you how to do it all right so our goal here is to get this radiator hose off and once I pop that off coolant can spill into the container it's gonna be a little messy but let's get her done Yeah, you should probably wear goggles for this. I'm gonna go get, get some. So it's been over 15 minutes and it is still draining. It's slow, but there she goes. So while we're waiting for that, I figured I'd do a quick walk around of the car, explain some stuff I've recently done. So I did uh, end up taking off the Faction Fab FR spec coilovers. Um, could not get the locking rings undone for the coilovers and so Basically, since I couldn't get them undone and I tried everything, tried vinegar, they're just seized on there. So I gave up on those, ended up uh, getting stock suspension, which I had a set laying around that was from a different car, same uh, 2020, I think these were from. And I put Swift springs on it, which gives it a one inch drop all the way around. And the reason I did that was after about two years of running the FR spec, uh, Faction Fab coilovers, the springs finally settled down and compressed maybe a half an inch and it started rubbing on the fenders. So this gives me a better ride height to where it's not rubbing. Um, you can see that the uh, Armor All dust repellent is still working and it's been over a month. This stuff is phenomenal guys. Um, I did get this NRG carbon fiber wing and the obligatory she built sticker from uh, Devin Nimala's channel and I did uh, fill the holes on the stock trunk and then I wrapped the top and my pressure washer decided to eat this wrap this is 3M wrap with the bubble release technology and it did not fare well with my pressure washer so what I ended up doing is ordered a Sabon carbon fiber trunk so I'm going to go ahead and replace this once it comes in in about a week or two. Um, you can see the diffuser and the Tomei exhaust. The diffuser is made by Evil Subi Customs. Not Evo like an evolution, but Evil like a bad guy. Um, I do have the pink Rally Armor uh, Breast Cancer Awareness mud flaps. And I don't even know if they make those anymore, but... That's pretty much it. I do have a new head unit coming. Uh, it's already here, but I'm going to install it this weekend. It will give me wireless Apple CarPlay. I do have an aftermarket Sony in there. And when I bought it, it advertised wireless CarPlay. But it wasn't wireless CarPlay. It was plug your phone into USB CarPlay. And there's wireless Bluetooth technology to play your audio wirelessly. So that was kind of misleading. Bad on you, Sony. I'm actually filming this on my Sony ZV-1 right now. And uh, as soon as we get this fluid drained, we can pop off these radiator stays on both sides, get these hoses off, and pull the whole radiator and fan system out together. Once I get that out, um, I'm going to go ahead and swap the new radiator in, get the stock fans back on, and see how it goes. Now, the coil rad radiator appears to be about two inches wide and this CSF radiator is a lot thicker I would say that that's close to three inches wide uh, so won't have to worry about track days with overheating anymore and should be good so still draining it's a world record
went to AutoZone to get some butt connectors. It looks like the fan connectors for the 2019 fans I bought for an STI are actually different. I don't know why. Um, Ishimoto said they were plug and play as well with their fans and the connector was different. So I don't know why my 2019 STI has different fan connectors, but I'll show you that a little bit later why they're different and I'm gonna have to end up splicing the connectors on. I just went ahead and got some of these uh, down at the AutoZone and I have the other ends. These are the female side, but I ran out of these so I had to go pick some up just so I can finish this job. So I went ahead and took out the upper radiator hose. I figured it'd be easier to get the radiator out. Everything is disconnected. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull this thing out. Should be pretty simple. Oh, you know what? fan connectors you can see they're kind of oval looks like there's two pins that go in the center All right and then you look at this connector and it is totally different so not quite sure what's going on there but we'll go ahead and uh, splice the connectors on so that they're right Right, guys there she is radiator is installed I need to get the fans and the hose is connected and we can go ahead and fill her up with coolant It's something kind of stupid but I have another one on the way that's the right one but I accidentally ordered two passenger side fans and if you look at the fan it has this little lip right here so what I'm gonna do temporarily to fix it is I'm gonna go ahead and Dremel this off all the way down the edge so it's flat like the rest of the housing I know this will probably help with you know keeping it from vibrating but I can't mount it any other way because of these tabs being up there and the bottom little feet I mean I could try to put it in upside down but that's just gonna rattle and flop around again it's got these funky connectors that don't match my car so still don't know what's up with that but what I'm gonna do is cut this connector off get the right connector put back on here and then we'll go ahead and uh, take that connector off when we get the right fan for the driver's side and we'll swap the wiring harness back to the new fan but temporarily this will work <laughs>
guys, we are ready to put the coolant in. All right, guys. I'm using the uh, GoPro's time warp feature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my silencer in on my car so I don't annoy my neighbors for letting it run for 30 plus minutes probably. So that's kind of the cool thing about the Tomei is you have that option to have a silencer on it. And it is like a Toyota Camry loud when you put that silencer in. So let's get that knocked out. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in neutral. Really quiet, cold start. And I'm gonna kick the heater on. Full blast, make sure the AC is off. Don't want that on. And full heat, make sure it's on high. And then you'll go ahead and uh, Keep an eye on your temperatures and then of course the coolant level we want to make sure that there's coolant in the funnel at all times. And I just wanted to provide some feedback so far. Obviously I haven't driven the car on the track or taken it out um, to get a good drive around feel of it. But I will say that the quality of this CSF radiator is absolutely top notch. I love the polished aluminum look. They have a, a 1.4 bar um, radiator cap, which a lot of companies kind of chintz out on that stuff. Uh, the fans, they do fit up. Of course, I do have to replace this fan with the regular driver's side fan. So as soon as that comes in on Saturday, I'll go ahead and change that out. Here's the uh, packaging that it came in. It was packaged really well. You had foam all the way around and they protected the fins with this big, you know, pretty thick, heavy duty piece of plastic. It's like, uh, it's got the little holes in it as you can see there. So protected the fins. I didn't have any damage upon, you know, receiving it. And I ordered it from Subi Speed the day it came out. It came out last Friday, I believe, as available. And I did get the racing version, which has more uh, cores or rows of cooling fins or tubing inside where the fins attach to. So I'm looking forward to seeing how much cooler my car runs um, with that Mishimoto radiator shroud and their fans. This thing right here, this was a complete waste of money. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna swap this fan shroud out, put stock fans back on here, and we're gonna go ahead and install it on the 2014 WRX. So look forward to that. Um, we did install new exhaust on my son's car. That's his WRX. And we're just having fun modifying cars. But anyway, guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, next thing I'm going to be doing right now is just waiting for the coolant 
to or the car to completely cool down, which it will suck up all that uh, coolant, fill up the uh, coolant overflow tank, and then I'll go ahead and button it up. But that's it for today. I'm glad you guys checked out the video. Hopefully this helped you out and um, you understand that working on cars is not that hard. You just got to get in there, kind of know what you're doing, use YouTube and watch some videos. But anyway, catch you on the next one. Thanks for checking it out.